What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Yegi Project. So today's episode really was triggered by me being sick of telling myself that I don't have enough time. So I started doing a lot of research and I started kind of rethinking about time and why I always feel like I don't have enough time. Hey, beauty lovers and fellow entrepreneurs. I'm Yegi, the owner and founder of Yegi Beauty. Within five years of being my own boss, I was able to grow Yegi Beauty into a multi-million dollar company. This podcast is where I share what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur in the beauty industry. So in the past, I want to say like eight years ago, initially when I started my journey as an entrepreneur, I really was fascinated by this topic. I was huge on not wasting time, being super efficient, getting so much fitted into my schedule, even like showers and eating. All of that was precisely schedule to make sure I could be the most efficient to make sure that I could do the most in my day right that was the only way I was going to be successful is to figure out how to be efficient to fit in more and more and more and then I think that worked for me because I was able to be really efficient and get a lot done but then throughout the years this other piece and this other question came to play with efficiencies. So why do we not have enough time? Why do we feel like the day is just not enough? And some days we go through our whole day and feel like we didn't accomplish anything. Is it that we don't know how to prioritize or how to manage our time well? Or is it that we're just so busy being busy and wanting to do more and more and more where nothing feels enough in this fast-paced environment that we just fill up our day and we avoid living in the present and enjoying the moment. So this is life at the moment that's happening to us right now, currently. So why are we so busy to try to do more and more and rush through our day or try to add so much on our to-do list to get somewhere? Where are we trying to get? Is there really an end point or is our end point that honestly? So why are we trying to do so much What is it really for? Have you guys ever thought about that? So all these questions have really been just kind of playing in my head because honestly, I really got tired of saying I don't have enough time. But what do you mean you don't have enough time? I fully have control over my personal life and my work day, but I feel like I don't have enough time in either areas. So I really needed to sit and think and go back and really figure out what's the issue here. Is the real issue that I don't have enough time? As in, you know, how do I even measure that everybody has the same 24 hours right it's mind-blowing so we do have enough time it's just what we perceive in our day of what we're spending this time on if we're satisfied with that day or our time spent compared to us not being satisfied with them but it really came down to these two things for me as I did more research it was either As people, we're managing our time poorly. We're not doing everything that's important to us so we can feel like we had enough time to do the things that are important to us. Or we really don't even know what we want out of ourselves or our lives and we're filling out our lives and being so busy and going and going, trying to reach this like end magical place where we'll be happy and satisfied. But really, that doesn't exist. We're avoiding living in the present and enjoying the moment by trying to achieve way too much and cluttering our life. Really think about that if you're one who always wants more and more. And I know I've said this in the past, but I'm kind of having a little bit of a shift. Like I know I always say, I want to be efficient. I want to do more. I want more of everything. More, 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 right? But is really more necessary? Is it really needed for our ultimate goal of being happy and fulfilled so I don't know this was very interesting for me to ask myself recently again I think my priorities have also shifted since I've had kids and really my time is even more limited so I've been asking this question to myself more and more it's like first how do I open up more free time for me to do the things that I want to do and second is why is there not enough time so really like I said it came down to those two things am I managing my time properly in order to do the things that I really want to do and second am I just just trying to figure out where I want to be or how to live in the present moment to enjoy my literally day to day compared to just trying to do more and more and more because like I said there is no 
finish line like what's the finish line right people especially people who do want to do more and more there's never going to be enough time in the day there's always going to be more we could do let's say even if we want to I don't know like have five locations for our business or 10 locations or 20 or 100 thousand million right it really there's no end there is always more and more and more and more and more we could do but how do we kind of figure out what's enough right that's kind of what triggered this whole whole topic for me because really there's never enough if it's time if it's whatever we're working on and it's never gonna end so the real key thing that stood out to me uh, when I was doing this research is really we need to live in the moment and enjoy our day-to-day to say okay I'm done I'm happy with today and where I'm currently at it's more of a mindset and more of how we look at ourselves and our lives compared to feeling like we need to get somewhere or be someone or have something to to make it so that was one big part of it the second part of it I think I've mastered pretty well but for for most people is managing their time right so we want to make sure we learn how to manage our time properly get rid of the things that we really shouldn't be spending time on like time wasters if it's watching tv being on social media for too long or whatever else you think that you're spending a lot of time time on that's not necessary and it's not necessarily causing you fulfillment or happiness. So now this leads to the question of why is it so hard to be present? Why do a lot of people struggle with being present in the moment and really being happy about it? Why can't we slow down, really enjoy the moment, take a breath, spend some time with our friends at peace and have fun? I think we've been just in this fast-paced life we've been just almost brainwashed that that's not enough that's not good you need to be doing something you need to be busy you need to work on something we need more we need more materialistic stuff we need more money more success bigger houses better cars but really our main issue I think nowadays in our culture is just really enjoying the moment and finding the joy out of that and being present instead of doing all that. I think if we kind of try to pay attention to this and really work on ourselves to try to be present at the moment and really be there if it's you know you're having coffee with a friend disconnect from your phone you're spending time with your kids disconnect with everything else and really just try to enjoy even if it's the little things like running through the grass right once I think we figure out how to be present in the moment especially you know even at work get joy out of that project you're working on I think that's when we're really going to feel like we have control over our time as well it's about being present and not wanting to do so so much and worrying about the future that's going to help our mentality shift to oh I have enough time for right now to be here at the moment so here's another question that I started really thinking about and I think I still need to simmer on this a little bit too do we really need more and I know I mentioned that before but is it needing more or are we using this needing more and this this I don't know hunger for doing so much a distraction for really being present what is it (laughs) right because sometimes I even think about I'm like you know I actually do have all the necessity things currently that is making me so happy that I can have a fulfilled life why am I so stressed out about wanting more doing more is this really going to change my quality of life or is it going to cause stress? So then I started kind of relating it in my personal life versus the business. And lately I'm really all about simplifying. So then I thought about, okay, the business now. We had kind of added a lot of different parts to it, like having our ambassador program, doing like all these extra projects, but anything extra and anything more requires more time and more management and more more brain power, even more stress. So then I really started thinking about that as far as work too. Do I want to do more or do I want to simplify in order to also kind of find time? So that's kind of where I'm at now. And I decided that, okay, I'm going to simplify. A lot of times we don't need more. It's only one to three key items. If it's in our personal lives or in business, that's really the 
running force so it's your money maker in business the two or three top things that you could do to earn money and in personal life it's those one or two things that you really get joy out of that's really driving your your happiness so I think for me I decided that okay I'm gonna minimize everything I do in both areas and really focus on those one to three things that's really making the difference and like that I'm gonna be able to save time be more efficient and not feel like I don't have enough time to do everything because again there it's never gonna end we're always gonna want to do more and there's always more to be done and I was watching somebody else's video about this and they did mention about reading a book and I was like oh you know that kind of resonated with me because I love books but even if we read a book every single day there's no way we can read every single book that was ever written and that's like a crazy goal I could never read a book every single day and fully not miss a day of not reading a book right so really what are we pushing ourselves so hard for isn't the key to really just be happy and enjoy the present and again after all this that's the conclusion I came down to simplify minimize, and really try to enjoy the moment while again working and striving for more for the future but really trying to be present and enjoy the moment as much as you can just switching gears with those priorities and that mindset is really what's gonna help you feel like you have better control over your time and over your life on average if this is not the issue you're having being present and really trying to know like what you enjoy in your day-to-day and your actual problem is time management that's the second part of I think the the main issue when it comes to the topic of not having enough time so if you think maybe you're not managing your time well on average we spend most of our day either at work traveling to and from work we spend our time on eating we spend our time on household chores this is like the average American and we spend some time on personal care right so if you really break it down and see where your time is going even within a week's worth literally like sit down and log your time and see what your numbers look like that's when you can analyze and see where your time is actually going and where you can look and find room to make adjustments to get the things done that you actually want to get done that's going to make you feel good about it I think a little bit of planning and managing is really what makes us as better time managers and getting rid of all the tasks that don't cause any joy or have any purpose towards your goals I think that should really be the place you start when it comes to time management Another thing to keep in mind when we're actually making our calendars and trying to fit in whatever we want to do for that day, in order to manage our time, we want to give ourselves three times the time that we think it's going to take. So if it's writing an email, I think it's going to take me 10 minutes. I'm actually going to block out 30 minutes for that task because a lot of times we underestimate how long something takes. And that's why at the end of the day, we feel like we didn't have enough time to do everything that we thought we can do during that day but if we're more realistic with whatever we want to get done in that day and we give it its proper time frame then we're gonna feel like oh I had enough time to do what I needed to do today I think again a lot of it is adjusting the way we do things in order for us to feel like we have enough time the very last thing I want to close with for us to feel like we have better control over our time and we have more time is waking up earlier versus thing up later because in the mornings we have less distractions and we have more energy so if you wake up earlier to try to get some things done more than likely you're going to be productive compared to leaving those things in the evenings where we get a lot more distractions and end up not getting done what we really should be getting done so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it gave you some things to think about and some things to work on and I hope your next step will be really long your day-to-day for a week of where your time is actually going then you could really see how you can either minimize get rid of distractions or things that are getting in your way for you to get stuff done that you actually want to get done so you feel like you have enough time or you actually say hey I'm gonna live in the present and this is what I'm committing to do in my current moment for my day-to-day for this week and I'm happy about it and that's enough 
Thank you for listening. Please rate and review this podcast. Follow and engage with us on social media under the Yegi Project. And if you're interested in being a guest, email info at theyegiproject.com. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes.